Hi there, I'm Lou. I'm John. Welcome to our series. Um, we run a website called Bottled Up, and this is a series called Bottled Wisdom. Yep. Um, they're very short kind of sentences. Um, I just have to say at this point, um, obviously, if you think we say something weird, we're trying to keep these to five minutes. So the chances mm. are, in another one, if you keep listening, we will address the problem that you think, oh, why are they just, you know, not yeah. speaking about that? So do be aware, there is no way in five minutes we can give you the full programme of what we represent. No. Um, but what we can do is we can extrapolate bits yeah. um, and, and just going to talk about yeah. them. So and these are potted versions yeah. of the parts of the programme, <clears throat> yeah. uh, which are kind of, uh, how would you say, it? they're easily consumed, yeah. you know. Yeah. So say we're keeping them to about five minutes, so. Yes, and clearly they're unscripted, but that's deliberate too. Yep. This is just us turning up as us. Yes. Okay, there's, this one is don't pour petrol on a fire. Mm -hmm. If you confront a drinker when he's drinking, it usually makes things worse. So why don't I talk about what I would do as a drinker? By all means, yes. Talk yeah. about what would go on in you as a drinker. Okay, so this is what would happen. This went on on a regular basis. Uh, my husband was a binger. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, when I was kind of establishing that something was going on, all the disappointment, all the, the, the broken promise again mm -hmm. uh, would come up. So I'd go into remonstration mode. Um, and so I'd sit and I'd appeal, I'd weep sometimes, I'd get cross. Mm -hmm. uh, and at that purpose, at that point, my purpose was to get them to stop drinking and to listen to what I was saying. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, invariably, actually, what would happen is he would begin to turn on me. So what would go on for you as a drunk if I started sitting in front of you? And... So did it work? Uh, no, not in the slightest. No, I, I didn't think it would, you know, because um, it never it never worked when um, my ex-wife uh, did it with me, yeah. you know. What goes on? Um, I'm feeling attacked. Um, you know, I'm you're trying to take my baby away from me, which is my drink. Um, you know, because for some drinkers, uh, they, their drink is like uh, their medication. You know, it's their medication against the world. Uh, it certainly was for me. It made me feel much better about myself, and if you take that away, then you're taking away that kind of lifeline. Um, therefore, you're attacking me. You know, and you might be doing it in the best possible, the most gentle way, but it doesn't really matter. And here, you take my drink, and I don't want you to do that. And therefore, you know, I sort of man the ramparts, you know, circle the wagons, you know, I'm going to defend it, and, and that's exactly what I do. I, I defend it, you know, so, I, I hear everything as an attack now, you know. Um, even, the, you know, you say, would you like a cup of tea? You're attacking me. You're trying to take my drink away and make me drink tea instead. Do you know yeah, what? Yeah. It's yeah. unreasonable. Yeah. But in here, it's totally reasonable. Oh, sure. she's trying to do it to me, you know. Uh, the other thing I would do is, as an aside, but you might recognise this, is sometimes my husband would go into kind of pity and pain. And so he would then open his heart about how he felt about being a drinker and how he mm. wanted to change. That would really lure me in. And so we would have a long conversation. I'd feel I was getting somewhere. Uh, and then, you know, about kind of half an hour later, I'd suddenly realise that we were going around the same thing. And yeah. so this yeah. cyclic thing, and he would never remember it in mm. the morning. And yeah. again, that took a lot of uh, kind of understanding uh, and courage mm. to walk away from, because that looked like he was yeah. offering me a bit of hope. We're on the pity go round, yeah, you know, yeah. rather than the merry go round, you know. Yeah. So. The other thing I think we have mm. to say is, if you confront a violent drunk, mm. uh, then that is petrol on the fire. That's yeah. why we say yeah. that then there is an eruption and harm can come to you. Yeah, one of the things that we talk about a lot within Bottled Up is safety. Yeah. You know, make sure that you are safe, that your family is safe, you know, um, and to a lesser extent, that your drinker is safe, yeah, you know, yeah. but make sure that you are safe. Um, and if you have an aggressive drunk, then, you know, it's best to, st it's best to stay away. Mm -hmm. It's not good to talk to a drunk anyway, because, you know, apart from anything else, they are boring. Yeah. You know, they're really, really boring. Um, I, I was a really boring drunk, you know, um, but I thought I was so interesting, you know. So listen to me, I'm so interested, you know, and everybody's falling asleep. Mm -hmm. And then I got sober and, and I would go out with people, and, and I'm not even talking about alcoholics. I would go out with people uh, down to the pub and they would sit and they would drink and, and I think this is getting really boring now, I, I need to go, you know. Because people in alcohol, is just, they, they are boring, yeah. you know. So 
that's the least of it. Yeah, so we're going to be know? talking about kind of leaving them alone. If it, it, Just to have to say, if it's aggressive, yeah. you're getting um, a, a violence, you're getting sexual violence, physical violence. Yeah. Um, I mean, in England, we would say there are places you can go. I think in the pandemic, um, they are aware that this is growing alcoholic yeah. violence. Yeah. So yeah. there's probably yeah. actually yeah. help you can find if you look in. Um, go to see your doctor. Yeah. Do not stay. Um, I think emotional violence and psychological violence is a slightly more um, kind of uh, muddy area, which we do address on the website. Yeah, but it's no less harmful. No, it's no less harmful. You know, um, but so that is often, it doesn't show the same. It's, no, it's, and it's often drip fed, and so that's yeah, a, a kind yeah, of a slightly yeah, more insidious yeah, yeah, um, violence that yeah, comes to you. Yeah. So, and please, before we finish this, we're keeping this very short, and so we're going to exit in a minute. Please don't hear that your anger is not valid. It is absolutely valid. And absolutely. your wanting to confront and remonstrate with them is utterly a valid feeling. It's just a very, very, very worst time to let that feeling out. Yeah. 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 And maybe we'll talk, you, we, we will be talking a bit about um, these sorts of emotional responses as we go along. So awesome. come and join us on yep. the website and, and come and keep listening to these. Uh, thank you for listening um, and goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay.